morning class. Today I'm going to show you an experiment relating to density. Density is a measure of how compact a substance is. We calculate density by dividing the mass of the substance by its volume. Essentially, this tells us how condensed a material is. I'm going to show you what differences in density look like. We know that the density of water is 1 gram per milliliter. So we have water here. The density of it is one gram per milliliter. If we put something into water that has a greater density than water, it will sink because it has more mass per unit of volume. If we put something that has less density than that of water into water, it will float because it has less mass per unit of volume. So today, um, we are going to decide if vegetable oil is more or less dense than water. So to start out, I have here two containers with me, one with water in it and one with vegetable oil in it. So first thing that I am going to do is I am going to mix a few drops of food coloring into the vegetable oil um, just so that it's easier to tell it apart from the water once we have the two mixed together. So we'll go ahead and put a few drops of food coloring in there and get that mixed up a little bit. So you can see now our food coloring is a little bit more of a greenish color while our water is clear. Um, so next thing that I am going to do is I am going to pour both of these liquids into a clear, empty water bottle. Um, you want to make sure that it's clear because so that you can see through it, otherwise you're not going to know which one's more dense and which one is less dense. So we'll go ahead and pour the water in first. And then we will slowly add the vegetable oil. Okay, now, before I show you what has happened, I want you to think to yourself for just a minute and guess whether you think that the vegetable oil is more or less dense than the water. So does the vegetable oil have more mass per unit of volume or less mass? Okay, so here is our result. Now, if you look at our bottle, you can see that the green vegetable oil is at the top and the water is at the bottom. Now this is gonna stay the same no matter how I turn the bottle. The vegetable oil is always going to work its way up to the top and the water is always gonna be at the bottom. So what does this mean? What did we say earlier? When something floats on top of the water, does that mean it's less dense or more dense? Take a minute to answer that on your own. And the correct answer is that the vegetable oil is less dense. So the vegetable oil has less mass per unit of volume than the water does. So that means that it's always going to float on top. We could shake it up and wait a minute and all the vegetable oil will end up right back on top. And all will end up right back on top. So that is a quick little lesson on density. Just keep in mind density, you find it by dividing the mass of a substance by its volume. Okay, thanks. Have a good day.